them a wonderful viewers a new day i'm sure if you're just joining this channel at this very moment you're actually missing a lot i'm sure you are really dancing but we are going to be reducing the dancing for now let's get to learn some interesting thing about the dj scratches as the title as area cd so as a dj after learning so much about scratches whether it's the bb scratch the stab scratch and any other type of scratch you can think of one thing you need to know about scratches is it's your ability to freestyle with it and give it that unique or that entertainment that entertaining part of it as you play around with the song while mixing at an event so let's get into the detail of the video first before you go into this you first need to if you are using my mapping you first need to go to I first need to use this very one that talks about scratches because i have two one for hot cue and one for the baby scratch that is one for scratches so you need to select this very scratch one and make sure it is selected and saved before you can really use it very well so the mapping for the description of the mapping is at the description box of this video for you to download so in doing scratches irrespective of whatever type of scratches you will be doing especially on the virtual dj software on the keyboard we are going to be looking more in it this is also applicable in the controller for those who are using controllers so no matter how many type of scratches that are in your head your ability to combine it very well is very very important it's not just doing it anyhow so that means in my own case we are going to be seeing it on a practical demonstration from this very video now so i use my letter l most of the time for my scratches based on my own mapping this is the letter l that you can see let me pause it for now this is it forward backward forward backward forward backward forward backward so the down up forward backward forward backward you can clearly see this forward and backward scratch alone is the baby scratch that we all know then if you are taking the another one again which is the control l you see it's only giving me the forward aspect i only hear the forward part of the scratch and i don't hear the backward scratch this one is refers to as a stab scratch so these are the two unique ones we are going to be dealing with for now with time i'm going to be putting on more bringing out additional this but as simple as these two scratches can be your ability to introduce your freestyle to you to make it very very interesting for the audience to look at let's just get to see what i'm going to do here so you see i'm just tapping on my control key and this one at certain interval and it's giving it that unique kind of scratch you might not really know what exactly is going on but you know that you are actually feeling something really unique and very nice as you listen to it let's go to the settings this is it the mapping the mapping will be at the description box for download i've said this severally you can get all the available links i've made a couple of links irrespective of your country in the world the rest are sure you can get it if you cannot still get it let me know at the comment box so that i can see how i can assist you more. so that is it this is the letter l mapping you can clearly see it everything is virtually the same with the control the difference between this this is the letter l which is the baby and forward scratch then if i come to control l in this case this is the stab scratch so control l is stab scratch and just l is baby scratch so that is what all this mapping is if you want to know detail about everything about this mapping the detailed explanation i explained the behavior of the keyboard in respect to this very script you can check the channel the video is already there so i wouldn't want to prolong this video so if you are just joining sorry i'm sure you are you'll be having so much to go through but i'm sure at the end of the day you have every reason to appreciate this channel by keeping a date as i continue to bring more content to you so let's get into the scratches again i'm going to be running the beat so that you get to see what i'm talking about in this very aspect so i'm going to run the beat again <music> So if you look at what I just did now, I was just playing around with the baby scratch, there is no stab scratch in it. But the beauty of all this is by the time you combine the stab scratch and the baby scratch together, that is when you get to see how beautiful it is. And the speed at which you run it is very very important. So if you are running the baby scratch, if it is fast enough, 
you will see that it will give you exactly what you are looking for but you don't have to be completely fast all the time maybe you run it first you run it one two then the next one should be very fast you see so irrespective of how you decide to do it it's all left for you but one thing you need to know there is you need to introduce the ability to run it on a slow pace and also on the fast pace so that you can really get what you're looking for let's get to see the staff scratch the scratch scratch is always on its own so no matter how fast you introduce the fast scratch on its own it will not really make that much sense but it, you get to appreciate it when you're running it together with the baby scratch then you first need to first you first need to have the baby scratch run first as one two then you now have then the back that is the stop scratch then you now come back to the baby scratch again you see i'm going to demonstrate this on a bit now but i'm going to demonstrate it before i run it on a bit i'm going to do it again now without talking this is it so one two one two so you see a combination of this long pattern will give you that unique kind of style irrespective of how you decide to play it let's run it on the beat now let's get to see how beautiful it will sound So if you pay careful attention you see that my hands are is constantly coming to the tap whenever i want to introduce a baby scratch while i'm scratching i will press the tap down then when i want to run the baby scratch i only press the f but i'm it's all appears like i'm doing the baby scratch but once in a while i tap on the control so that it select that part which i only want it to appear as a, as a tap scratch that is what i'm doing so the baby scratch is, is always there but you need to tap on sorry the baby scratch is always there that is for the letter l but at any press of the control control while i'm doing the baby scratch it turns it into its stop scratch that is exactly what i'm doing that is why you notice that my hands are always moving very fast on the, on the control time on the control key once in a while when i'm doing it which is, that is the same thing that's applicable on the controller when you are doing it you notice that the person that is doing the scratch his hand is always on the crossfader playing around with the volume sometimes you mute the volume when you are taking it backward or back or forward when you are taking it backward then you allow the forward to be listening to that is exactly what i'm doing with the control l here you are just doing the normal baby scratch forward and backward of your key at different you are switching the paste forward and backward at every time then all you are doing is tapping on the control in order to mute the backward sound of the scratch which is the same thing you do on the controller as you are doing the baby scratch you take the controller off to mute that particular backward scratch so that you get to appreciate it so thanks very much for one day there. don't forget to keep a date again as i've ever said several years. so if you are really enjoying this video please and let me know at the comment section if you want something that you really want me to add to this video you have a suggestion you have any area that you're confused about please let me know also as i'm really here to give you the very best as i look forward to your own feedback as i'm giving you adding that value to your dj skills